The REACH mandate is to try to understand who's not getting essential services. And if we can understand how to do it with mobile money, then we can begin to understand how to do it with other development solutions. MPESA is a mobile money application, which enables people to send transfers, make purchases, loans, and other things. It was hugely groundbreaking when it was set up and reached over 80% of the Kenyan population. We used machine learning to understand the trends in our data to begin to understand the profiles of the people within Kenya and answer the question, who does and doesn't have mobile money and why? What is special about the REACH Alliance is they have actually gone back and asked who is not included? And the Center for Inclusive Growth elevates those insights and makes them actionable and visible for leaders in the private sector, public sector, and NGO space. We wanted to understand for M-Pesa, which has been hugely successful, what are the remaining barriers to reaching the hardest to reach and bringing them financial inclusion? Some of those key barriers were things you might think, like access to mobile phones, education, formal identification, but some of the others were more intricate like different types of subsets of the population with different languages and religions. What we're really looking at is how can we overcome those barriers, and when we understand how to do that, we can apply it to other development solutions and try to understand what their barriers are and how we can overcome those. Policymakers and practitioners should care about MPESA because it's an accessible way to get financial inclusion to that hardest to reach population. What's unique and special about this partnership is that it's scalable we can actually bring on more universities, more private sector actors, and actually make real progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals. 